Byrne with the diagonal. That is a beautiful switch of play to Joshua Gurgi. Gurgi inside to James. Good to see the young man having early involvement here. He's got space for a shot. He takes a shot. It's easy gathering though for Shane Hallahan. Much of that there to Spain. Spain with a good strong tackle. Breaks the wave. Meany. Ibrahim not afraid to shoot. It's a good block. And Meany cuts inside onto his right foot. Carlin effort took a deflection. It'll be another corner for Longford Town. Yeah, that was a nice bit of play there. A really good play. This is the case for the rest of the game. Meany goes up for the header. He's beaten to this one by Darren Iwanku. Durvindo picks up the loose ball wide. Good ball from Durvindo towards Jamal Ibrahim. Armstrong at the back oh. post and it got a block from Ben O'Reardon and it took all the pace out of the shot and Shane Haller. Nice one-touch football from the town. Durvindo into James. Here's Armstrong. Armstrong dribbling at the edge of the area. Tries oh. to play it into Joshua Gurgi who had stayed up to join the attack there. Maybe Armstrong could have had a shot. Here's Dean George. Can George get the ball out to Connor Barry? Yes, he can. Barry still has it. Took a while for that ball just to sit. Wasn't sure whether it was going to be Barry or O'Connor that came away from it. In the end, it's going to be a corner to Treaty United. Here we go again. Ludden gives the signal. Goes to the back stick this time. And there's a free man there. And that is a sensational save, a save from Jack Brady. Denying his former club an early goal. In there, but uh, his offload wasn't too tidy. Connor Barry down the line here to Alec Byrne. Barry whips it in. Curran is free. Curran gets his head on it, but loops over the Longford Town crossbar. But Ender Curran been afforded a little bit too much time. Adam Burden didn't play as much as he would have liked, but in the last few weeks, he's been really, really good for Longford Town. Maybe a bit of an off week in Kerry last week, but aside from that, he has been excellent in the midfield. Here's Meany with a quick shot on goal, but again, it's an easy save for Hallahan. Alec Byrne, nice little spin from him. Some nice football here from Treaty. This is O'Reardon, who came so close to opening the score just a few minutes ago with that header, and he's met a forward run here. O'Reardon is in on goal. Shot off the left foot. Good save again by Jack Brady. He denied Ben O'Reardon for the second time in the space of just... Another chance for Mark Ludden to get the ball into the mixer. Ludden again goes towards the back post Ender Curran's got his head on it and Ender Curran has scored once again against Longford Town to put Treaty ahead for the throw but it won't go his way that decision quick throw in and Longford has switched off and Dean George he's in on goal he's got options here as well George is going to go himself and that's another brilliant save from Jack Brady but Longford Town totally asleep from the restart it's Alec Byrne Byrne takes some time to control it Ball inside to Armshaw. Armshaw cuts it back. That's a brilliant ball from Armshaw. And Longford Town somehow get it away. Connor Barry on the volley just over the bar. But that was a simple ball down the line to Willie yeah. Armshaw. He was in behind the Longford Town defence. He finds Andrew Spain and inside, inside and only for that uh, last gas block. It was going to be 2-0. And it could be 2-0 here as Ender Curran races in on goal. Brady comes off his line. Curran goes round him. What a tackle from Shane Elworthy. He's kept the game alive for the town. Excellent switch of play to find Connor Barry, who's been a constant threat down this right-hand side. Here's O'Reardon. Back to Connor Barry. They've worked this nicely. Barry dinks it into the area. Curran goes up. Curran gets something on it once again. He's dominating the Longford defence in the air, Curran. Could already have a hat trick. The wide ball so far, Longford Town. They're going to have to overcome that here. Well, they could be 2-0 down. Ludden whips it in. Curran ducks under this one, but it runs through to O'Reardon at the back post. Good save again from Jack Brady. Single-handedly keeping this treaty team from putting... Yeah. They're on the ropes. <laughs> Looking for the bell. Again, as Ludden <laughs> flings it into the area. Up goes Iwanko. Falls to Willie Armshaw. He got plenty on that Armshaw, but it does fly over. Longford yet to truly test Hallahan down the far end. He's had a, a few easy gatherings from range, but aside from that... He hasn't really been worked. Durvin's going to be penalised for a high boot. He's already on a yellow card he? here as well, eh, Durvin? And now Treaty are on the counter through end of Curran. Curran has support. Here's Dean George. It's three against two if they work it right here. The Limerick men. Ender Curran's free at the back post. It goes to Connor Barry instead. Barry with the shot. Another save from Brady. Longford Town blessed to still be in this game. George, he's managed to hold it up. He has to go back to Willie Armshaw. But that was, again, a simple ball forward that caused Longford Town a lot of problems. Armshaw into Byrne. Byrne struggling to get this one out from under his feet. He carries it forward, gives it to George. Oh, George shot. Flashes wide, another let off for Longford. 
Long for town. Everyone back in the 18 yard box to defend this. Let's see what Barry's got in mind. Barry towards the front post. And the ball in the back of the net, but the referee has spotted a shove. I'd love to see a replay of that. So you can have one. Arm shot. Beats one. Almost beats two, but it falls to Dean George on the rebound. It's back to Willie Armshot. It's opening up for Armshot to have a shot on goal. It might have got a deflection. Referee half thinking about giving the corner there. Will be a goal kick, but to Ibrahim again. He stayed on side. Ball in towards the back stick. Can someone get on it? Derek Daly. O'Connor. Adam Verdon didn't read the pass. He was just on his heels there, Verdon. And the move breaks down, but that was more promising from Longford. Good impact from the substitutes there. Ref giving him any amount of time that he wants. That's great to see. Ludden throws it in. Offer Town deal with the first ball. And the penalty. referee is pointed to the spot. It's going to be a penalty. And it's going to be a yellow card as well here for Key and Byrne. Referee Arnold. Approach from what we saw in the first half. Brady kept a minute. Can he keep the game alive for now? And Zender Curran steps up to make a two. Curran scores 2-0. <laughs> a bit of afters here, Curran goes down after a, a collision. Long throw in up towards Curran. Really strong header from Curran into the path of Connor Barry. Could be more punishment for Longford. That's a good save from Burke. Will Armshaw get the rebound? He will. He clips the crossbar. Burke immediately involved. The sub who tried to play forward, they give it away sloppily. Perhaps that's why they're so reluctant to be adventurous in possession wow. and Treaty are carving through Longford here like a hot knife through butter 3-0 to Treaty it's in the back of the net and it's the substitute Stephen Christopher doors they've seen enough I might join them <laughs> it's going to be Verdon to take this one Verdon got plenty of purchase and movement on it but just floats understandably as well Verdon though trying to give the town fans something to cheer about but nobody latches onto his ball into the penalty area Gurji keeps it alive though it's a good ball from Gurji Verdon got something on it it went with Marsh but the offside flag goes up it's as if to say does anyone want this ball yeah I know it's a difficult evening and all that goes with it but you know you, this, that can't be Gurgi, ball across the six yard box, Whitmarsh, his eyes lit up, he thought that was going to be his first uh -huh. goal for the town, but a treaty player again.